Good afternoon. I am focusing on the concept of postmodernism. So what is postmodernism? Postmodernism evolved in the late 20th century in reaction to modernism. A key theme to this movement was scepticism, particularly in regards to reason and the objectivity within ideological beliefs. It's all about diversity, subjectivity, multiple truths and representation. To further explore and understand postmodernism, I will look at the American animated sitcom The Simpsons. The show focuses on a satirical portrayal of a middle class family in America. The Simpsons is a classic example of representing a postmodernist society, which imitates culture, art, institutions, stereotypes and more. For example, The Simpsons constantly mock stereotypes such as bullies through Nelson and highly religious people through the character of Ned Flanders. As philosopher Zygmunt Bowman believes, postmodernism is a passage from solid times to a more liquid lifestyle, with everything changing and evolving. Once solid structures like art, identity and morals in a modern world have become more fluid and open to interpretation. The main characteristics of identifying postmodernism are through parody, pastiche, self-reflexivity, intertextuality, hyperreality, meta-narratives and globalisation. For example, in regards to hyperreality, The Simpsons presents a cartoon within a cartoon, Itchy and Scratchy Show. This also blends in with intertextuality with the cartoon being similar to the 1940s Tom and Jerry Show, which helps to understand Itchy and Scratchy's appeal and popularity. What is postmodernism in relation to pop culture? The Week 5 readings, The Postmodern Condition, presents the idea that there's no clear and distinct difference between high and popular culture anymore. It is the end of standards and referencing for the distinguishing of the good from bad. John Fekit says postmodernism may be ready to get on without the good, gold, God standards. He says, to see all cows as the same colour would truly amount to being lost in the night. Postmodernism is all about subjectivity and interpretation without the limited confines of a modernistic world. For example, The Simpsons uses parody to portray high institutions differently. In one episode, Homer Simpson sells his soul to the devil for a donut, mocking religion. Throughout the series, the government is also represented through incompetent, corrupt politicians such as the adulterous Mayor Quimby. Two specifically influential figures on the development of postmodernism are, firstly, Jean-Francois Lyotard, French philosopher and literary theorist. Lyotard published The Postmodernist Condition and thought postmodernism was the end of the one-size-fits-all belief that modernism held. He believed it was the end of meta-narratives, who held the monopoly of knowledge in areas such as science and history, for they were too authoritative, absolute and strict to understand the human condition freely and efficiently. For example, Lisa Simpson is a highly intelligent eight-year-old who consistently holds logic and reason in the highest regard, but is quickly neglected by her dim-witted neighbours or corrupted politicians. Lothar believes that in systems where knowledge is hierarchical, it undermines individuals, like that of Lisa Simpson, who favour the truth rather than popular universal principles, according to critical cartoons analysis of The Simpsons. Postmodernism instead requires individuals to openly explore their own truths and culture without the traditional confines that modernism had previously normalised. The second influential figure on the development of postmodernism was Frederick Jameson, literary critic and political theorist. He focused on a stylistic lens to understand how postmodernism works. He believed that postmodernism culture is a world in which stylistic innovation is no longer possible. All that's left is to imitate dead styles, speak through masks, and voices of the styles in the imaginary museum. He believes that postmodernism is a new kind of flatness, as said in Lecture 5, and that history has been lost in postmodernism through its concern of representation and thus lack of depth. We have become dependent on recycling ideas in the past, that all we know is the copy, rather than the depth and nature of the idea. For example, The Simpsons presents Sherry Boffins, a recreated version of the popular 1960s character Mary Poppins. The generation growing up with The Simpsons may only know Sherry Boffins and her characteristics, but not the nature or depth of how she was recreated. To conclude, according to Frederick Nature, Postmodernism is like constructing our own world through our perceptions.